All right, it's time for entertainment with Entertainment General here on Joy News Prime. Miss Gio. Yay. How are you doing, Israel? I'm well. Okay, so over the weekend, we had a lot of stories. You know, one of the stories that trended during Saturday, Sunday was that uh, Sukwisako has lost his position. You know, we heard that after he lost uh, the bid to become Deputy Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture, yeah. he was sent to the National Commission for Culture to head the police. And uh, he's been there. We haven't heard a lot from him. Then all of a sudden, we hear that somebody had come to displace him. Oh, and who is that? And uh, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Okay, so it's still a rumor now. We hear that she is from the Western Region. She is the Western Region Treasurer for the MPP. And uh, she's 69. She walked into the office last Friday to say that I have been appointed to head the commission. Does it mean that uh, Socrates didn't know? He didn't know, but I paid him a visit. He was at post today. He says, well, there was some miscommunication. So what really happened, he narrates. Uh, the president had uh, asked um, someone to come and assist us, and we are expecting the person. So that is the story. Okay, so somebody is coming to assist you here. Yeah, we, we, we are working as a team. Mm. We are working as a team. Um, the president has a vision to promote culture. And uh, over here, we're using creative arts as a tool to push our culture, uh, our culture. So that is what we are doing. And this is not a job for one person. So we are expecting maybe not one person, maybe there will be some more who all come and assist with the work here. So that is what we are. So we should take what we read as a misinformation. What is true is that here somebody came, but she's here to assist you on the job. Exactly. Okay. You know why all this, um, somebody is taking the job and blah, blah, fine. <laughs> but, uh, now, yeah. now, when you read the story, you know, Asukri Safo, were you alarmed that somebody had already taken social media to tell something that was happening privately in your office and all that? Exactly. And uh, that person, maybe, I'm not even, I have to check whether there are some cameras, cameras here, here watching, you. watching or there are some cameras outside there. But because, like, I read on the internet, I just need a confirmation that if she's the same person. She's Leonard intelligence and a mother she's a beautiful woman strong and i know she has all that it takes to help move things in this office for whatever she's bringing on board she's welcome and for me she's like a mother and i'm happy to have somebody who can even support with a motherly advice and a pro protection from a mother mm -hmm. that's it, that's it. You're in Peteb. Are, are you comfortable? <laughs> comfortable as in? Mm. As in, you know, when, you, when you, you're in politics, like I said, there's nothing that is given or permanent sometimes. And so when you're almost like uh, uncomfortable when you're seated because you don't know what is going to happen the next moment. Are you comfortable? Well, that's normal with politics. The moment you decide to go into politics, then uh, you must expect that by tomorrow you can be appointed and within the few hours you can be taken out. I decided to come to politics because there are some changes that I want to happen to the industry. And having complained and complained, I feel that, come on, why don't you take charge? And that is why I came to politics and it's paying off. So that's the story. Yeah, I mean, he's taking it coolly. Yes, yes, yes. But now he knows that, um, like he says it diplomatically, she's joining the team to help the team. He knows his position is secured. He says that has been resolved. And I was shown, you know, or I was told that, you know, yes, uh, she, she's just joining and not at the, as the head. So Socrates is comfortable. Okay. All right. So he's away, in a comfortable lead. He's in a comfortable lead, yes. Away from Socrates' uh, saga, let's talk about the love beds. Sister Debbie, it's too risky. Oh, yeah. Poof, poof, be the auntie. <laughs> I feel making rain on them. So medical and Sister Debbie would not be shy to let the public know they're dating, even though she's eight years older than medical. AJ, nothing but okay, a number. Okay, so that's what she's saying. But this is what got her comfortable. 
And I've seen people pass comments like, um, um, so, no, no, Sotium Jay Z and Bachona Beyonce, yes. But um, we work very well together and we understand each other very well. We are both very bubbly and fun loving people, like joking a lot. We, even though we are very different, we like similar things. Honestly, at the beginning of the relationship, I was very skeptical. I was worried, so I kept asking medical, come on, I'm older than you, are you sure, are you sure? And funny enough, I tell my close friends, he's more mature than me. When it comes to relationship, he's so matured. He would tell me things like, like he would get very serious and say, ah, age is nothing. Age is nothing but a number. Why are you, he, he tells me that he doesn't even think about it, so what am I thinking about it? And that even I look 18, so why do I always bring it up? And if I bring it up again, he won't be happy. So after like bringing it up like six or eight times, I had to stop because I started shaking. He was like, don't bring it up. Then I realized that ah, the person I'm actually in a relationship with is not bothered. At the end of the day, he asks me out. He's not bothered. And we get along. And when I'm with him, I feel, sometimes I think I'm lying to people about my age. I actually feel younger. So I think, hey, am I lying? Like, what's my real age? And it's eight years difference, not 10. People who are saying 10, it's eight, it's eight. <laughs> Rain on them too risky Before I put the blame on them too risky Never try touch man them too risky Poof poof be the anthem too risky but I, I like their spirit. I mean, they, they appear too to, risky. They appear, appear, appear As to I be buy love. my first car. But it's a, it's a, it's a fresh love, a uh, fresh affair. So it tends to be you, like. You think that. it's fresh? Well, yeah. I mean. Really? It's, it, it, yes, it's been over a year, so this is not fresh. Well, yeah, it's still. <laughs> no, in fact, we thought initially it was hype to promote your song, Too Risky. But now we know that the relationship itself is too risky. Poof, poof is their anthem, so we can't, you know. But who was she dating before? Hey, Israel. Please, so. You don't know and medical is my best friend. I don't want any wahala. No, I'm not talking about medical. I'm talking about Sister Debbie. Um, Sister Debbie? There's a tall list. I, I'm not sure she How agrees. long did it last? Hey. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm, I didn't say that. I didn't say anything. Sister Derby, Israel is asking, how long did they say Joey B? How long did Joey B's last? I don't know. Anyway. So it's just a question. Okay. So let's see how long this will last. But, you know, her brother has given his approval already. So yeah. I guess that this will last a little longer than all the rest. But quickly, Mr. Isa is in trouble. Two of his songs have leaked within two days. Okay. But this one. Usually a leak is not bad. Oh, really? But I'm not sure Mr. Easy is happy about this one because this is a remix of Skin Tight with American singer Rita Ora. Here's more in this report. Mr. Easy is not having a good week at all after not just one, but two of his tracks have been leaked just days apart. But following the leaked Skin Tight remix featuring Justine Skye and Wizkid, Factory 78 was anonymously sent another Skin Tight remix which features, wait for it, Rita Ora. Have a listen. Easy got my body like skin tight. If you're there by my side, then time's when I know I get sicker. If you're by my side, oh, if you give your all to me. We reached out to Mr. Easy directly to find out what was happening, and we were told, my team is, are very professional. No one on my team works by impulse, and I've known them for over eight years. Well, we hope for his sake, things get sorted out quickly, and every leaking tap in his camp gets turned off. So What's the worst that could happen if your song leaks? No, it gets a lot. Now, there's going to be a lot of bad people are going to want to hear the song and going Googling about it, blah, blah, blah. So it's and not a then, terrible thing. So it's, it's not that bad, but right. as to whether the song is done, I don't know. Back, Nick Gordon is in the news again, and here's why. He can confirm 28-year-old Nick was arrested in Sanford, Florida on Saturday afternoon after an altercation with his current girlfriend. According to a spokesperson for the John E. Polk Correctional Facility, Nick is facing two charges of kidnap, false imprisonment, and battery. He is currently being held at no bail. The arrest comes just one month shy of the two-year anniversary since Bobby Christina's death. 
Whitney Houston's daughter died on July 26, 2015, nearly six months after she was found face down in a bathtub in a home she and Gordon shared. In September 2016, Gordon was found liable for Brown's death. And in November, he was ordered to pay $36 million in her wrongful death suit. So, I don't know what to say about Nick Gordon, but I just wish him well. Yeah. I, nobody wants to be in his shoes. Yeah. But quickly before I go, just to let you know that uh, PDD is topping the list for uh, Forbes' uh, 10 most richest... Uh, High, uh, highest paid celebrities. Exactly. And you know that uh, David Bowie and uh, Prince actually are still the top, or the fall somewhere with 11 and 12 of the people who are dead and are still making it A big. lot of money, yeah. yeah. So... That's it for entertainment. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. G, bringing us entertainment. Up next, we bring you sports with Asar Bediako.